Now to a first in the race for president in 2016, the first major candidate saying he wants the job. Republican Senator Ted Cruz of Texas announcing on Twitter, tweeting out, I'm running for president. And today we heard what he's promising. No abortion, no gay marriage, no gun control. And he told our John Carl today he will appeal to far more than just conservatives. Texas Senator Ted Cruz practiced for his big moment, rehearsing the wave with his kids and even the kiss with his wife. And today when he took the stage for real, Cruz made it official with the flair of a televangelist. I believe in the power of millions of courageous conservatives rising up to reignite the promise of America. In a twist on the old John Lennon song, Cruz told the crowd to imagine a purely conservative presidency. No abortion, no gay marriage, no gun control, no IRS, and... Imagine in 2017, a new president signing legislation repealing every word of Obamacare. So who is Ted Cruz? He's an uncompromising conservative, the freshman senator who led the fight against Obamacare that shut down the government, at one point talking for 21 straight hours on the Senate floor, even reading a little Dr. Seuss. Sam, I do not like them. Sam, I am. He's Mr. Ivy League. Near the top of his class at Harvard Law, a champion debater at Princeton. Skills he's used to battle Washington Republicans, he says, have gone soft. And does it bother you that a lot of people around here just don't like you? Nobody should be surprised if you're trying to change Washington that the Washington establishment pushes back. And Cruz is also the son of a Cuban immigrant, Rafael Cruz, who was waiting backstage. And what did dad think of the speech? Incredible. Dad approving tonight. John's with us now. We know Cruz is a conservative favorite, but he was predicting today to you that he's going to have broad support. Yeah, and look, he gave this speech at Liberty University, founded by Jerry Falwell, really one of the founding fathers of the religious right. But he told me today that he can appeal to moderates and independents. David, we're going to have to see if All that right, actually make happens. His case. John Carl, always great to have you in yeah. New York.